reusable things that just make sense. So this first one I had a lot of questions about. It's a reusable lint roller. So it's sticky. You use it. You wash it. When it dries, it gets sticky again. This next one, these are reusable cotton pads for like taking off your makeup and stuff. So they are super, super hard. But once you get them wet with product or water, they actually get really, really soft. So you wash them. They dry and you can use them again. This is just like that reusable lint roller. But this is a tiny little ball and it's for your purse. It picks up crumbs. You can wash it and then you can use it again. This is for your face and it gets the oil off of your skin. It comes with a couple extra balls as well and you just wash it. It dries and then you can use it for up to 60 days and these fit onto any regular size mason jar and makes it into a drinking cup. Fun changes to my daughter's bathroom. So we are still having all of this and the phone holder, but what was holding their toothbrushes is now holding their razors, and I love those things, super useful. I changed that decor a little bit. The big change is over here. Their hand towel rack was really in the way, so I flipped it vertically and put their headbands here for when they wash their face, and then this now holds their hand towel. Where the hand towel rack was, I put this cute color changing cloud, which that's nice, which I got from Target, and it goes along with like the motion activated color changing lights that I have in here, and then I added this mini color changing salt lamp. I put this in here for hand soap, which it makes a little flower, and then I added this just for fun because it's color changing and I like how it looks and the way that it turns on. But the biggest thing was I wasn't using this mini fridge in my bathroom, so I put it in here. And I'm going to use some of this stuff to stock it soon. You know the phone case I showed you, it goes in the shower. I didn't show you this, but it actually comes with two more of these, so a total of three. So we're gonna put a couple more in. So it's normally right here, but I put one over there. Just pops right off. So I didn't put one down here. I don't think they ever do too fast, but just in case they decide to do like a little spa or something. So I thought that was kind of cool. something awesome. This is our game room in our basement. It's a game slash movie room. It's even got a kitchen and we already have a popcorn machine so it's not that. But it is pink and it is fabulous. Okay. So there really wasn't that many pieces. This was the hardest part like trying to make this shape but I got it pretty fast and I got the wheels on and then I had to put the top on. Pink fabulous cotton candy machine like the real deal. We were not very good at this at first. <gasps> oh no! Have the phone ready! First couple tries were a little iffy, however, we caught on to this pretty fast. By the second day, we're like pros. for the main floor guest bathroom that are fun but still look nice. The soap dispenser is actually really pretty where the soap and the water goes and it dispenses a flower. You have to play around with the soap water ratio to make sure the film is thick enough but it works. This is a little nightlight. just looks like a regular one but it has a Wi-Fi setting so at night you can put it onto a bunch of different color changing modes that you can like change on your phone on an app. It's really cool. These plants are super convenient because they come in a three pack. These are not my favorite ones though. The ones in the entryway and laundry room are but there's tons of different options. This looks like it's something that would be clean in the toilet but it's actually a motion activated light in the toilet for night and I'll show you that soon. This is actually for washing dishes and I have issues with my kids like squeezing out body wash everywhere and stuff so this makes it way better and this is how it all comes together at night. Useful things I make sure with me before I leave the house. So this is a portable rechargeable phone charger. It's adorable. It can charge a couple of devices at once. And when it's fully charged, my phone can go from 17% to like 100% over a couple of hours without it dying. So it actually works. This next one, lots of people wanted it sold out. It is back with like multiple colors. It's a rechargeable little fan. It has a lemon aromatherapy pod and it has three different settings. It's been awesome because it's been so hot. This next one it is actually an on-the-go sterilizer. So if you drop pacifiers, keys, lip 
bombs, beauty blenders. You can pop it in here and sterilize it. There's two different settings. It can also hook to your bag or like your stroller. And then this I got last night. I'm super excited about it. This is a car trash can. It's waterproof, but the strap gets really long. So really, you could take this anywhere. It'd be awesome at the park. You're going to want to see this. So I always get my kids a glitter sunscreen. And I thought, I wonder if there's like a shimmer one just to give a nice glow. And so I searched and this is what I found. And I'm going to regret showing you guys this because I know it's probably going to sell out now. And I didn't have an opportunity to get more yet. This is gorgeous. SPF 50 water resistant. It's awesome. So I'm going to show you what these things are. I froze coffee in them for 24 hours. I wasn't really sure how to take this off, but it actually just folds down and then it comes right out. And this is what I made. It's absolutely adorable. I have so many ideas for this. Like you could make little fruit punch bears and put it in like a fruit punch bowl for kids. Or like you could use it in a Kahlua type of alcohol drink for adults to make it extra adorable. Also, we use those mix and match lids for the mason jar drinks. And this looks really cute. I'm going to show you an outdoor must-have. We've moved a couple inside as well. This has been through rain, hail, snow, everything, and it is this right here. I spend more time in this every single day than any other furniture in my whole entire house. Not even kidding you. You can adjust all the beats and make the back higher, lower, firmer, everything. You can see how much space there is between me and the ground. You can lounge back in it, and it's an outdoor patio beanbag chair. We moved a couple to the game room and my beauty room, so I need to get more for outside. Okay, so we got these blind bags from Claire's. We had opened the first one, and this is the second one. These were worth like $160, and then they were marked at $12 each. So this was like a really good deal, and this is probably my favorite bag out of the ones that we got because the amount of rings and the different styles is really, really cool. Cupcake ring, cupcakes, and pie. So this is what she was calling the cupcake ring. A paw of a pup. It's had so many rings, it was absolutely insane and totally worth $12. This was the first bag, this was the second. Let's take a look at some of my cutest lip balms. Not stuff that I haven't opened. I intended to do this on like all food. One's like weird shapes, more unusual shapes, typical shaped. Such ours, one, two, three, four, five. A Care Bears lip gloss. It looks like a little mini purse. You push these buttons. There's a lip balm. I love how they always carve the designs on them. This one has three lipsticks. Freckles are so pretty. I'm gonna add these to the food and drink area. And a few more food ones. Really love this one too. Ones that look like earbuds, different kind of honey pots, ones that actually look like markers. Cute Oreo. I love the avocado because the lip balm actually looks like an avocado pit. Super adorable and it's a chocolate lip balm. I have a huge amount of these Hershey Kisses lip balm. They're all actually shaped like Hershey Kisses. Okay, so I made the cutest thing ever that I have to show you. I used fruit punch in this. Here we go. And there it is. I also did one with coffee so that you could put it in a coffee drink. These are adorable. So we had done a makeover on my 13-year-old daughter's room and I showed you awesome things. And my oldest daughter recently ordered some stuff I want to show you. They have complete different styles. So since it is fall time, she switched out her green leaves for these orange ones. And then she got this for her wall, which this turned out way better than I could even have imagined. So she, of course, has the LED cloud. And then we bought these rocks and the fake succulents and these containers. And she put these together. This is a drawer organizer for your, like, underwear, socks, stuff like that. She does have one in her dresser. I'm obsessed with this is a little tiered display shelf that she used for all her body sprays. She has these necklace hangers on her wall and then this huge ring organizer. She of course has an awesome record player to go with the vibe and these three tiered shelves are really cool. And then also we got these bookends, the alarm clock, this corner shelf. You can just tell by the vibe like her bedding, everything. It's just totally different from her sister. And then I absolutely love her backpack so I wanted to show you. Okay, so I use this felt purse organizer and I'm going to show you why I love this thing. So if I get a new bag, which I just did and I'm obsessed with it, all I have to do is take the organizer and put it in the new bag if they're around the same size. That's all I have to do. The smaller one I'll organize later, but the big one, it's done. So this is part two of the bedroom makeover for my 13-year-old daughter. So decor and bedding. We got these flexible stick-on mirrors. And then we got a bunch of fake plants, some bubble candles, because those are really popular right now. And then for the bedding, we did blue satin sheets. And then she went into the duvet cover to, like, straighten it all out. But it went from looking like this to this, which is so beautiful. We got a light-up letter for her name, pink LED candles, some new, like, organizers for her desk, which I really like those. This is how some of her decor looks and turned out. And then on her dresser, we put a light box and a candle and a plant. 
I'm obsessed with these daisy pillows. Love them. And that's a holder for her phone and remote. We also put up some lights to give a little bit of glow. We're going to hang these on that green wall. It just turned out so good.